fuck a buddy of yours. Say me and you are gonna fucking do this to you. Yeah, get in here. Say, man, what it do, man? Get it in here. What you got? What you got for me? Shit, dude. Let me show you this shit, bro. Just that good shit. Hey, we got the twist bag. That pristine pack. What pack you got? Oh Wreck shit! Enraged. I never had the uh, that flavor. Bro, this shit. Have you tried the enraged? Yeah. This shit is fucked. I take two scoops of this hoe and I can't even <laughs> feel my fucking cock. That ass. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, this is, this is that shit. All right. A thousand alpha GPC, which, do you know what that shit is? Alpha GPC is like a nootropic, I think. Makes you, like, makes you, like, mood enhancer. Oh, okay. So it's like Molly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Pretty much. Uh, 350 meth. All I see is meth, so yeah. that's a good sign. Hopefully this blue liquid will give me that good-ass workout. Me, me and all the homies drink, drinking that blue liquid. All right, we here, that man. slurp we juice. That yeah, slurp for, yeah, for real. Fucking Mr. Myers and Riz King. Bro, Riz King. <laughs> and, and fucking Mr. Charm. Last night, me and Colin were like, like Steph does this shit. I don't know why. I'm, I'm about to call bro out right now. I don't know what's up with you having your fucking auto capitalization on. That's like it's a been off my phone uh, for like five years. Bro, I don't know, I bro. I just, turn it back on. I know, it's just like, I never fucking cap though. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, bro's a bit nervous about something. <laughs> bro's got a few, uh, is, few stains under there. I, know, I, see, I, I thought bro had that on a turn on. <laughs> bro's, bro's pulling that forbidden <laughs> itch stuff. Bro's got the insta forbidden. Hey, hey, let's just get right to it, buddy. You think about that, bud? I'm doing that forbidden in 4K to you now. Don't, don't poke the lion in his den, buddy. <laughs> don't poke the bear who hibernates. Uh, hey, man, get that stretch. That stretch, dude. Look at that stretch, dude. Look at that big ass hand. <laughs> Working out with my biggest inspo, Colin. <laughs> We're getting a nod like he was actually the coach or some shit. Bro said, <laughs> this one's for Shy Hung Kala. At least a little bear. I did it to myself, bro. So, we're actually an embarrassment to, to society. What? Like, we were literally both bench 405 and we can't even, like, throw around 225 on fucking incline now. Like, what the actual fuck happened to our <laughs> shit? so much worse for myself, bro. What happened to I us? you little bear. Yeah, I know, but I mean, still, like, I think, bro, it's just like, Holy how are we gonna bench, I, on the flat, if we went on flat right now, oh, I bro, bet. I don't think I could touch, like, I, I probably hit, like, 315 for one or two. I think I could do the same thing, bro. Do you think you'll, do you think you guys are ever gonna hit 405 again? If yeah, I wanted point, to, yeah. if we wanted to, I feel like I mean, it's just like you gotta devote yourself. I thought like with you at 405, you could just say, like, you're why, good. bro? You're I'm like, fuck like it. Good. Like, I, ain't, yeah. I touched that shit, I was like, I ain't gonna touch that shit. You got the receipts and shit, so it's like, yeah. Well, also, it's just so much easier when you're on steroids. Like, if we, if we, if we touched anything at, at all, like, yeah. it, it could be some, like, the most minuscule amount of anything, just like, you, it's so fucking easy to maintain your strength on anything, but when you're natural, it literally just disappears. Oh, you want to you, you want to let off for a week? Oh, well, well, how about you fucking minus twenty percent of your all your fucking. If action? you let off for a week, it takes two weeks to get back, like literally. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like one step forward, two yeah. steps backward. The amount of people that I know on gear and they just fucking squat like six plates and then take a month off squatting, come back and then hit a PR. It's like, yeah. all right, bro, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hey! And then motherfucking still have the audacity to call me fucking not natty. I'm like, bro, I got that the natty ass fucking records and shit. I don't even think it's happening anymore, bro. I'm, I'm starting to become fucking uh, non non controversial, uncontroversial. Yeah. yeah, me too, bro. I look like shit and I'm weak as piss. <laughs> It's time to give up, bro. We're passing the torch. No, we gotta fucking uh, just get on shit. And then we'll take that torch back. We'll steal it back yeah. from bro. <laughs> Do you mind if yeah. we dominate the fuck out of everybody? Do you mind if I'm 250 lean? Do you mind if I'm 250 fucking lean? Yeah. Let me get handsome real quick. Let me, let me add to the fucking uh, the legacy.
It's all up to it's all up to my viewers at this point. Hey, as soon as all the all my viewers stop supporting me, like I'm just gonna hop on. So whenever you guys want to stop supporting me, you know, I'll probably just I'll have no re no more reason. Yeah. The only thing holding me back is that I'm so successful, bro. If I and like I don't know if that's a flex or what, but hey, the moment I become you know slightly unsuccessful, I'm pinning my ass. I, I haven't gotten to that uh, success point end. yet, so I think I might just have to do it, bro. Let me, let me get this. Let me get that up and down a few times. All right. We were, me and Lex were just talking about, uh, you know, once we start going irrelevant, it might, it might be time to pin our own assholes. Me, me and bro will do it together, naked in the bathroom. What would happen if you put the pin inside your bottle? You didn't, like, go through your asshole or anything, you know? Like, you open your ass up and put the pin in it, like, very gently, and then you, like, whack. What happened? Because like, isn't your butt like the most like? Yeah, can you can you get drunk by pouring yeah. like alcohol in your so ass? So in theory, if you just like you didn't have to pin it. What if you just put the pin in your butt and then just like slowly gusted it out? Is that natty shit? All the people like on steroids watching this shit are probably butt like, chug trend. Dude, I what wonder how it feels to butt, butt chug though. Like real shit. What? You think it feels good? <laughs> butt chugging? What's butt? Why does bro sweat handsome? <laughs> Dude, stop. <laughs> Their fulfillment comes from like my existence. Yeah. It's like, it's like, kind of like, like satisfying. You would, like, you would be nothing if it wasn't for me. Like, you would have no purpose if, if I yes, wasn't bro. creating the content it's, that you hate. It's like so satisfying. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, I'm like winning so hard. Like, I, I hope you're like kind of my bitch. Yeah. Like, I'm looking you ringing your shit out. Like, like, oh, you want some more shit to talk about? Here you go, bro. Yeah. Here, here's like, something from daddy. daddy. I'm taking here's a little something from daddy. Yeah, yeah. Here, here. Uh, you want it? What do you want? You want, you want yeah. some pocket change, man? You want something? Bro, because I don't think I've ever said anything rude about like anybody like just like a comment like I've never been on Instagram and been like fuck this dude <laughs> it's like, like I'd be talking shit though but I mean, I'd be talking I, shit I don't but text, I don't no, just, yeah. spread, you know, spread yeah yeah the point is is I'm getting at is like when you get older you, you kind of question what you're doing with your life more so like I don't know imagine like being a 30 year old man and you just like wake up you go to the grocery store, you grab, you buy some fucking onions, and then somebody pisses you off in traffic, so you get out of your car, and you try to strangle them. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's valid. What is, what is wrong with you, bro? Like, <laughs> you know, like, are, are you really on that? You know, like, you don't what? question, you, you don't question your shit? What are you talking about? Hey, if I'm buying onions and someone pisses me off, fuck. <laughs> in traffic, just fuck. Fuck <laughs> you. I hear you. Thank you. I hear you. <laughs> Bro, because who the fuck buys just onions? That's all I'm getting at. Like, oh, you want some more shit? Talk about here you go, right? Yeah. Like, like, I'm, I'm, from daddy. Daddy. I'm taking some something from daddy. Are you leaving? Yeah, bro, I'm out. That's <laughs> why I was like, what's so far? Hey, that my bro shit up. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> Yo. This shit is so nice. It just literally shit is so I've seen it right before the camera turn on, bro. Look hey, bro. <laughs> you got some doogie stains. Oh, really? <laughs> Wow, bro, my ass is sweating that much. Bro, I think it's it's from the fucking uh, it's enrage, fucking bro. It's enrage, bro. It's enraging <laughs> my asshole. Bro. That's fucking crazy. Bro, shouldn't have worn the gray sweats, bro. Who gives the biggest hugs? I do. Who loves daddy's cuddles? <laughs> daddy's gonna hug you. Who loves daddy's hugs? Daddy's gonna hug you. <laughs> Who wants to have skinny hugs? Uncle Steph's coming to give a big hug! <laughs> Who wants a hug from Uncle Steffi? <laughs> Who wants a hug? <laughs> Come on! Come on! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Was that, was that Meek start playing? <sighs> hey bro, don't let Meek start playing when, I, when we're in the middle of our fucking ten, set. Them tendon reps. Hey, there's, there's, only, there's only two things that can get someone going that hard. It's Meek and Lincoln Park. <laughs> yeah. Was that Meek starts playing? Bro, I got at least 15 more reps in me. Once I reach absolute maximum failure where I can't hit a singular more rep, that's when I know when I hear that Meek, I got 15 more reps in me. Dude, deadass, I could load 500 pounds on the fucking squat bar, literally unrack like this, fall down straight up, not even be able to be remotely tangible to even succumbing to the opportunity of executing this set whatsoever at all. But once that fucking Meek starts playing, <laughs> I think I can literally stand up and get 15 more. <laughs> I, I just feel like this is that beat. That's on the I want it. I want it. How bad do you want it? This tendon, this all tendon. Man, there's not even muscle going on. I'm just looking. <laughs> <laughs> that's bro describe it perfectly. That's what, that's what I was trying to get at, bro. It's that football workout. You get that meek playing. I just I be starting doing them football player fucking coach, them football coach fucking reps, yeah. them football coach fucking form. Come on, throw your tendons in it, son. I think they'd be hitting like 495 in the gym. Their max would be like 315. <laughs> they'd be putting 495 on the bar like this. It's just like that. It's just like that meek playing, bro. <laughs> Grab a buddy of yours. Say me and you are gonna fucking do this together. Say me and you are gonna fucking do this together. Man, if I start slacking, you're gonna be on my ass if I start slacking. And I never will accept mediocre again. Grab a buddy of yours. Grab a buddy. <laughs> what y'all know about that Greg Plitt motivation? What you know about that grabbing a buddy? Bro, bro, like, how did bro exist? Bro, bro just like would wake up every day like... It's <laughs> like bro just oh. motivated as fuck. Bro, Greg Plitt bro started sweating. We're like... What the fuck am I doing sleeping? Bro was like, bro was literally like an anime character, bro, I swear. Yeah. Greg, Greg Plitt would be like this. Where's my buddy? Let me grab a buddy of mine. Let me grab a buddy of mine. Hey, me and you hold each other accountable. I'm like, bro, I don't even I'm fucking know who you are. I'm not going again. Wait, I'm not your buddy. I'm just a random guy in the street, bro. And then, and then Tom Blatt is on the corner like, yo, I literally know that you're fucking, you just tore your L5 and all your ACLs, but I think you honestly have five more. And Meek Mill's like, nah, he got 20. I know you're creating micro tears in your, all your tendons and fucking ligaments, but you got five more reps. I mean, when you think you're done, I mean, totally done, you got five more. That's all I'm asking, five more. I want five more from you. Bro's literally fucking on the floor, the bar's like suffocating him. The fucking bench, it's like on his cracked his sternum, it's He's on like, his Somebody neck. fucking help me! <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, I got five more. I literally can't fathom what, what Tom Platt's meant by that. I mean, he said, I mean, the definition of totally done means that you quite literally, literally, like, I don't know what else a word to use, you physically can't do anymore, even if you wanted to. So if he says you're totally done and I want to see five more, I don't know how, I don't know how does it work. How does it work? You do like 50 more reps. I was like, I think I am going to grab a buddy of mine. <laughs> I fucking, I just started with my shot. I'm like, bro, I, I, uh, I was talking to him about how, like, Greg Plitt, like, his spirit, like, took over me, bro, like, like a couple weeks ago. You know, I, I had listened to Greg Plitt in the past, but yeah, like, you should probably, like, motivational and whatnot. And a couple weeks ago, like, one of his SoundCloud fucking songs came up on my recommended hard style, and I was just, like, lifting, and, like, I started, like, resonating with what, what bro was saying. He's like, grab a buddy of yours. And I was like, I never really grabbed a buddy and, like, held him accountable for anything. And I was like, yeah. I started really getting into it. I started really getting into that yeah. rep. I started digging in Greg, there. Greg Plitt, or Greg Plitt predicted our friendship like fifth or fucking ten years in advance. Bro, me and Steph literally text each other like if we're doing something bad or like we need to do something better. We no, quite literally, me and, like we didn't even hear that shit. Past year, like if anything's going on, me and Steph are like, all right, here's the deal, bro. We're gonna we're. Gonna
we're not gonna do this anymore ever again. Or like, we're, all right, we're gonna start doing this now. Yeah, we're making, making them packs. Except for quite literally grabbing a buddy. We're, yeah, we're grabbing each other. Grabbing like, all right, bro. The yeah. Country. Why does those kiss already? <laughs> Hey, look, I got the new setup, bro. I got the new cam. Let me see. What you got? Is that the... A7 IV. Oh, shit. We yep. just got a new one, too. Hey, look at that haircut. I'm about to pull up in the Tonka. Only the best timers fucking get that haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, every time we're in LA, we got the same fucking cut. Bro. Yeah, bro. You know what you do, bro. You're being away, though. Your shit looks way better than mine. <laughs> you got that... That wig cut. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking... I mean... Hey, I do got the Tommy's on. You got the Tommy's on? Yeah, man. Hey. You know I stay strapped with the Tommy's, man. Hey, I got the Hanes. Don't sleep oh, on the Hanes. shit. I ain't gonna lie. Don't sleep on the fucking Don't Hanes, bro. All of them, I swear, bro, all of them rank me when I like, where, when I post pics with fucking Hanes on. They're like, the fuck, bro? And I'm like, this shit's your, like, the most comfortable, comfortable pair of underwear I have. Yeah, and they're cheap. The sport oh. ones, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Just, uh, these Tommy, I'm not gonna lie, bro. These Tommy's are uncomfortable as fuck, bro. But I just wear them because they look sick. Those, With the waistband, bro. I, I always got holes near my ass, so like, <laughs> yeah, because they don't stretch, bro. They suck. I just like that white waistband, bro. If fucking Hanes would make a white waistband, I'd be, bro. I'd be, I'd be lit. You just need that white waistband. I get that. Have that wig of fit. See, the blue is just like, I right, this motherfucker corny as shit. You feel me? Nah, that, the blue's tough, the bro. Blue's all right, but the white, the white uh, waistband that should be in a little different. You feel me? That's uh, RWS. <laughs> <laughs> RWS. <laughs> yeah, real wig of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say that, bro? Or like, I, Honestly, do I gotta cut this out? Should I cut it? No, fuck it, dude. <laughs> fuck it. Damn, are y'all gonna cancel me? I don't know. I'll debate this. Jeremy, what do you think, bro? Can I say wigger? Yeah, fuck yeah. I can. Yeah, bro. It's not like you say anything bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, how is it like racist? I don't know, bro. The definition of it. Because it, I don't just people like freak out about everything nowadays, bro. I'm just I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. I'd say. Steph, nobody would ever say anything, bro. Uh, I, I, I think it's a beauty. Dude, you I mean? literally said it back. Yeah. I've said so much fuck up <laughs> in my fucking videos, and nobody says anything. Yeah. Holy shit, bro. Sexy ass friend. <laughs> sexy ass motherfucker that I believe everything he says because he's handsome as fuck. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, keep laughing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah keep charming. I'm, I'm getting off to that. Yeah, keep charming the fuck out of me. Hey, sir, keep laughing. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Lock the fuck in. She's just got three I'm times. I'm gonna be tin all over, bro. I'm gonna come and rip a jerking tin after a big knob. That's why I can't work out with these motherfuckers, bro. I'm gonna hit that splujeroni. Yeah, not legit. Yeah, Jay Faust. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jay Faust. Yeah. yeah. Stay frosty, bro. <laughs> stay frosty. Yeah. Hey, that should be your new thing, bro. You should you should put that on a shirt. Stay, stay frosty, bro. Stay frosty. Hey, it's it's fucking frost, bro. <laughs> it's, it's 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 bra. fucking. Huh. What's up, bro? Is it Jer, bro? Is, Is that, that Steph, bro? Steph, bro. Lex, Is that bro. Fucking Lex, bro. Is that fucking Lex, bro. Is that little, bro? Is that Lex, bro? I did it just to hurt myself a Think little. About That's what I did, bro. I swear. Just, you know what? Just, I, just to you guys. Not, not enough pain. Not That's what I felt like. I felt like I was getting a little too happy in life. Thought I'd just ruin myself again. Start from scratch. See how, see how well I could develop my physique naturally. <laughs> a little reset, bro. There's nothing wrong with like, fucking, making your life a living hell just so that you can fucking, barely make it out, and then you grow from it. Yeah. You get that fucking solid ass Zeke at the end of it. You yeah. Know? You just, you, through a fucking life of trauma, at least you got that solid ass fucking Zeke on you, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's real shit. At least I could just. Bro, it's fucking easy to be. I think I'm gonna lighten that up a bit. Come on. It's not about the boundage you're lifting, it's about the uh, motion of the ocean. If your biceps ain't about a splooge, then you ain't getting that pump on. It's about the way I move my cockington, bro. <laughs> I just got back from my trip. I ended up getting a little bit sick there. I wanted to say. Shout out Jam, bruh, for being a real one. Um, it was really like refreshing hanging out with somebody, you know, my kind of following level, and we also came up at like around the same time. So it's cool to see somebody like my level out there in LA. And you know, I've been really thinking hard about it. Lex has been trying to get me to come out 
and live out in LA for a really long time. And I love Connecticut and I love living here, but I think I have done everything I really can do here. I think it's time for that new chapter. I think it's time that I made the smart decision of moving out there because it's a better opportunity and I'll be a small fish in a big pond again and I'll finally have room to grow. I was telling Jerem, it reminded me of how goldfish, like you keep them in a small tank and they only can grow so big but then you throw them in the fucking ocean and then things like come back giant. That's kind of what I want to do. It's, it's actually like I've finally kind of been pushed to that point where I think that's just what I have to do. I think I'm very comfortable here and I think I have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable and that's how it would be in LA, you know, I'd be all on my own and I'd have to figure everything out, bills and getting my car over there, everything. I'm gonna try and do it because, you know, I wanna be the best in this industry and I, I really, truly do believe I got that potential in me. It's just, it's not really cutting it in Connecticut, you know, I think I, I've gotten very far, farther than most have been able to in Connecticut. It can only take me so far. And I can always come back, it's not a permanent thing, but I think for right now it's just the move that I have to make. I just want to thank all y'all for supporting me and being there for me because, you know, if I move, it's going to feel pretty lonely, but when I have y'all, I mean, it don't really feel like that I'm that lonely. So I'll, I'll probably be streaming a whole bunch, making videos all the time. It's so easy to make content out there, which is another big thing. You know, here I'm always struggling to find the next thing to do, but we'll get it figured out. It's not set in stone yet, but... Within the next couple months, I'm going to try and get out there. So I love you guys, and thanks for making it even possible for me to be kept afloat in Connecticut, <laughs> which is, like, it's really great. Like, I, I really love being here, but it's just, you know, I got to do what I got to do while I'm young. You know, I'm only 21 once, so I'm going to be the best to ever touch 21. Thank you, guys. I love you. Please like and subscribe and share this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.